Hello everybody, Quacker here and this is a video tutorial on how to set up your own RTMP server using Nginx and what this does is allow you to stream your content to multiple streaming websites such as Facebook, YouTube and Twitch. It's very easy to set up, you, all you need to do is follow my instructions. So this video is created uh, for those who need visual aid in setting up their NTMP server using um, this tutorial which is from the Opera Broadcaster Software Forum. It says you have to set up your own private RTMP server using as using Engine X. For those who who are too long din, din, too long do din, didn't din read guide, you know, that kind of thing, you can just follow my steps and and I can guarantee you it will work. Also you can also use your RTMP server if you want all the rendering on you know all the heavy stuff on the server site such as uh, uh, if you if you're using Streamlabs notification when whenever someone follows you and it, it shows that kind of notification oh someone uh, is following you or someone donated you and etc etc you can actually you, you, you can actually do that on the server site instead of using a computer which uh, which if you have uh, if you don't have a really good buff computer and it, it uses a lot of resource you can actually do it on the server side so without any talk so we can just uh, go straight to the tutorial so what you need you can actually use your own computer uh, or you, need, you can also use another computer so the computer must be Linux or Windows uh, for Mac I'm not sure because I never used Mac before but, uh, but I've used Windows and Linux so now I'm going to show you uh, how to install Nginx for Windows first then we're going to continue with Linux so for Windows you can actually download the Nginx with the, with the RTMP module in already included in this uh, website so you go to your forum uh, to this forum uh, I'll put the link in the description in the description you can just open this up and you can go to this line uh, not to note not to Windows user and just click that link and after that, we'll show you this page. Make sure you download this one. This is the latest. This is not the latest, but this is probably the second latest one, uh, version, which is Nginx 1.13.5.1 Violet. Make sure you download that version. And after you download it, make sure you extract it. I have it downloaded here. Just right click and extract to Nginx. This will create you another folder here. So inside this folder, you will have all the contents inside. Now, let me close this okay all right so after you download this you need to rename this folder to nginx just delete uh, all uh, everything after nginx and hit enter and then you need to copy this file this folder into local dc here just transfer it here and then you have uh, your nginx installed after that you double click the folder and you need to copy this path so what you do is press shift right click nginx and copy as path this will copy uh, the, the path of this uh, uh, application so now you need to open command prompt you can just press the symbol uh, the windows symbol on your keyboard and press r and it will open up this uh, run task and uh, this run window and then uh, type in cmd and hit ok and after that, right click and it should paste the directory. So you need, what you need to do is just, just delete this, all of this. Also delete the slash there. And then select, delete the quotation mark. So before C, you need to type in CD. So it, should, it will look like this and press enter. And this will uh, move you inside this folder. So now what you need to do is type in start space nginx hit enter and this should start nginx so what you need to, to to verify if nginx is is started you need to go type in uh, your local IP address and it should show you this page if it shows you this page that means nginx is working fine it's, and it's up and running so if if you don't know how to find your local IP what you need to do is just uh, go open network and sharing center you can right click this uh, the, the connection icon then uh, click open network and sharing center click ethernet or wireless whatever so it show you this uh, window and then click details and 
uh, look at your IPv4 address. So this is your local IP address. Then paste that into your web browser and it should show you the engine X like this. So if it shows you if it shows up like this, that means Nginx is fully up and running. Now, uh, what? Now I'm going to show you. Now in the Windows, in the Windows side is now finished. Now I need to show the tutorial for the Linux version. So the Linux version ha uh, has a bit of extra steps, uh, but it's fairly easy. So in the forum that I, in the link that I that I've given you in the description. What you need to do is you need to install uh, the dependencies first. So you can go to step 2 here and then select all these lines, right click and copy. And I'm using PuTTY here. So you can access your Linux terminal, make sure you access your Linux terminal and make sure you have uh, sudo, uh, you, know, you, you know your sudo password. So let me close this now. Now, <coughs> in the terminal of your Linux system, uh, just paste in the, the the text that you just copied, which is this one, and then hit enter. This will install. or oh, make sure you put in your type in your root password. Okay. Now this will install the, the dependencies to build Nginx, and I already, as you can see, I already installed it. Now after you install the dependencies, you need to install. The late, uh, you need to download the latest Nginx version. So you need to go to the download page. I put it in the description, the link, uh, the Nginx uh, download page here. So uh, as of today, the, the latest version is 1.13.6. And what you need to do is you need to copy this link and your terminal. You need to type in wget and then paste in the link and, th and hit enter. And this will download my Nginx uh, zip file. And after that, you need to download the RTMP module. Uh, you can just copy this text, just copy it, and then paste it, and hit enter. And this will download the master the RTMP module. Yeah. So after you download both of this, you need to unpack your zip. So what you need to do is you need to type in tar dash z x v f engine x dash one point one, which is the latest one, one point one three point six dot uh, tar dot g z and after that hit enter and this will extract all the uh, all the content from the zip folder so now we need to unzip our master zip file so what you need to do is type in unzip then master dot zip and hit enter and this should unzip all the it should unzip uh, all the contents of the master zip file now <coughs> now you need to we need to move inside the nginx folder so you type in cd space nginx uh dash one dash uh, one three oh sorry dash one dot point one three point six hit enter and and type in ls just to make sure that you're inside so if after you type in ls uh, hit, and hit enter and you see the si similar similar files like mine you can see similar taxi auto changes all of this that means you're inside the nginx folder so now we need to build nginx so copy this link sorry copy this text uh in in uh, in the forum as you can see you need to build now we need to build nginx just copy the first text here and then paste it in your terminal hit enter and this will check uh, all these files uh, that 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 that's needed to compile. This will just uh, just ba basically verify uh, whether all the necess necessary files is inside the folder. So then after that, you need to type in make, and this should compile uh, all the, the the source code of nginx. All right, finally, now we have compiled. Type in sudo make install to install nginx after that boom finish so easy now let's test our nginx so you need to type in sudo uh, slash user slash local slash nginx slash as bin slash nginx this sh should start nginx all right now after we have started our nginx we need to know our local 
IP address of our system. So what we need to do is we need to type in IP ADDR and show hit enter and if you look at INET there's two INETs here first INET is this one and the second INET is this one and now uh, this is your uh, your local IP address so now you found it so now copy that and paste in your browser and this should come out so now nginx is successfully installed and working hmm. all right so now it's working now we need to set up our rtmp server in the windows version your you need to navigate to your nginx uh, configuration file so you go to the nginx folder in the c root uh, in c root go to nginx at c root and con f and conf and then if you scroll down you should be able to see your nginx uh, this one nginx dash win con f if you have not pet plus plus you can add it using you can add it with that or if you don't have it you can add it with notepad uh, it works both it works for <coughs> both works so uh you, no you should be able to see this content here so if you see this line uh this uh this text here that means you open the you, you open the right file in the linux version you need to navigate to the config uh, folder which is uh, uh, this uh, this line here this is the directory in the forum so you need to copy that paste this and then uh, in, at the first line at the first uh, in the first part of the text just type in sudo nano at the beginning of the text here hit enter and this will open the configuration with nano uh, which is basically a text editor for uh, for the terminal now uh -huh. so I'm going to show you both sides here so now at the end of the line here at the end of the file uh, create another uh, create a you know, press enter just create another space there in the forum you have this uh, this text so you can just basically copy all this and then paste it in the in the window in, in windows text you can just copy and paste it here and you have uh, all uh, you know you yeah so this is all this uh the most basic configuration of the rtmp so it's not finished yet for linux in the terminal i'm just going to type it manually there we go now we finished so what we need to do is we need to uh push uh we need to uh, uh just transfer our streaming content say if i'm streaming to uh, the computer and then computer the computer needs to send uh that uh, the receiving stream to the websites that we want it to send to so uh what you need uh, we need to do is we need to use the push the push argument or the push command Oh no, it's the push command. So, the push command is this one. So this is the push command here. We need to paste it under. We need to paste it. Uh, uh, sorry, not paste it. We need to type it under over here. So push. Oop. Push here. So now we need to type in push, and then the RTMP link of the 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 website. All right, for Twitch. Uh, this is the uh, these are the the RTMP links you can see here. Uh, for me, I live near the Southeast Asia, so this is my uh, so this is the closest server that I can use, and also the best one that can uh, that can avoid delay. What you need to do is you need to copy this link, copy it. In this case, let's push. I need to paste. Let me paste it on both sides here. Yeah paste and then we need the stream key so I can paste in this uh, my stream key and then let me paste it for both all right and then make sure you type in a semicolon at the end of the line of the text uh, just to you know just to demonstrate to you that I can uh, stream simultaneously I'm going to go with to my YouTube done so now we have uh, set up three of our service so this is the uh, so this is twitch this is YouTube and this is Facebook so now all you need to do in Linux 
type in uh, press Control X to exit and press Y to save. Hit enter. And now your engine X is safe. Same goes for the uh, Windows version. Just can just uh, if you're using Notepad plus plus, just hit the save uh, logo there. Save it. All right. Now <coughs> you need to restart uh, engine X. All right. So in the Windows version, type in C, then C colon slash engine X. All right. So this uh, will move you to the engine X folder, and then you need to type in engine X. In X space S stop. All right, all right. So now it's uh, internet it stop. So you need to just ignore this, uh, this, uh, this error. All right. Now uh, you need to re also do the same uh, with uh, with Linux. For Linux user, you need to also need to stop it. Just type S stop. It's the same uh, same argument. And this will stop the engine X server for Linux. It's a while here, and there we go. Now it stopped. Okay, so that's that. Now, uh, now what we need to do, we need to after we stop it, we need to restart it again. So we need to just type in start engine X, enter, and this will start engine X for Linux. Just uh, uh, just press up and then just delete the argument and then press enter and this should start into next. After that, I'm going to open another OBS. So this is OBS. So you need to go to the stream st stream type and select custom streaming server. And in the URL, you need to type in our TMP colon slash slash and the IP address, uh, the local IP address of the, 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 you know, the IP address of your server. So you type in there, slash live. That's it. Uh, it doesn't have any stream key. We did, we did not set up any stream key. You don't need to use that. Then just click apply. Hit OK. Now if you click start streaming, uh, this is the play capturing here. If you click start streaming, you should, uh, so if it, if it shows green here, that means there's no errors. That means it works. Well, now let's look at our Twitch, our Twitch. Let's look at our Twitch. Is it is it broadcasting? Okay, broadcast now. Now it's live. See, it works. It works fine. Now if you look at our Facebook. Now we have our Facebook. It works. If you look at our YouTube, it works. See. So now we are live. So, so that's how you um, set up your RTMP server to stream simultaneously through other uh, streaming websites. So that's the end of the tutorial. So if you if you guys seeing this this video has helped you guys to set up your RTMP server, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more video content in the future. If it doesn't work, just hit the dislike button and leave a comment on why it doesn't work, and I'll try my best to help you out. And yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Ciao.